Well, it's Child Abuse Awareness Month, and Action Force teaming up with Child Protective Services again this year to get the word out. That's right. The message, take a stand against child abuse and prevent it by reporting any early signs before it's too late. The annual Child Abuse Prevention Call Center was busy Wednesday afternoon. Representatives from Child Protective Services were in the Action 4 newsroom fielding calls from viewers on all issues concerning the welfare of children in the Valley. It's a very uncomfortable subject. A lot of people don't like to discuss it. John Lennon is a media specialist for CPS and says a startling number of reports were made last year about potential child abuse. It's 51 calls a day. And that works out to uh, 2.1 calls per hour every day last year which it's bad that there's that many children that people are calling in on, but it's good that that many people picked up the phone and said, these are Valley children, we are concerned about them, and we want to get them help. And that's the purpose of the Action for Child Abuse Awareness Special, to get the community involved in reporting signs of child abuse, which come in many different forms, according to CPS Supervisor Angel de la Garza. If a child is cons consistently dirty, uh, there's always going to be, if the child was one weight and you start seeing a transition in, in lowering the weight and there's constant uh, child's missing, there's, there's, there's uh, bruises that aren't explained. Whether the abuse be sexual, physical or neglectful, adults are responsible for reporting the violence before a child is hurt badly, like the Westico toddler whose own mother burned his hand because she was angry with him. Luckily, he survived, but some children do not. Lennon says the community should not fear Child Protective Services, and if it makes them more comfortable, they can now file a report online. We have um, a web-based reporting off our website. It's txabusehotline.org, where a person can actually fill out an e-report. But we always encourage someone to call 911 first if it's an emergency. And we will have a link to that website as well as the national hotline number along with this story on valleycentral.com after the newscast.